lot of bills getting caught um, in this hailstorm of the House, the House one upping the Senate, and the Senate one upping the House. But one that doesn't appear to be, and I, I predict will probably be one of the seminal accomplishments of the 2012 session, deals with the education tax credit. It's very important to business because businesses would be allowed to have up to have an 85% tax credit from either the business enterprise tax or the business profit tax for, for contributions they make to scholarships to allow parents to send children to a private school or a, non -pub or a public school that they're not now attending. Uh, these scholarships would average $2,500. Now, when the average cost of St. Paul's School is $13,000, and many of the average private school tuitions are over $10,000, these scholarships are not going to pay the whole bill. And, uh, and, and that's important. And that's one of the reasons why means testing is being applied to these scholarships, that only families of low and very moderate income will be eligible for, for these scholarships. But you've got to credit, as House members and Senate members are at war feuding with each other, you've really got to credit two legislators, one in the House, one in the Senate, for getting together, working on this education tax credit. They've come up with a compromise. It was approved. It was approved last week by a Senate committee. It will probably be approved by the Senate, and it could avoid a conference committee. Uh, and it's interesting. It's kind of uh, strange bedfellows. Neil Kirk, we're a Republican, former House Finance Chairman, veteran legislator, almost 20 years in the legislature, one of the most savvy guys when it comes to the end of the session and pulling things out of the fire. In the Senate, Stratford Republican Jim Forsyth, one-term Republican, not running for re-election. It's going to be his biggest accomplishment, and he's had several this year. For, for a first-termer, he's... And, and someone who is very conservative, a Ron Paul supporter, uh, he's been able to uh, work the process pretty well. And New Hampshire is likely to be the tenth state in the country to allow these education tax credits. You say, well, wait a minute, these are vouchers. Vouchers are of questionable constitutionality. They're not vouchers. They're scholarships. There's tax credits. That's how you, you don't actually give the money to the parent directly. You give the money as a, to a nonprofit foundation, then then gives the money to the parent. The business gets the tax credit. As I said before, nine states, including Rhode Island, have these tax credits. Three states have ruled in federal court that they're constitutional, so there isn't that concern. Uh, and as I said, in a year in which a lot of stuff is going to hit the cutting room floor, this education tax credit looks like it's going to make it all the way home.